Hey guys, welcome on my YouTube channel, Everything Technical. This is Deepak. So now in this video, we are just going to see how we can connect a remote server using secret key. Secret key, that key is a PEM key through the Jenkins. So that we will see in this video how we can connect, how we can uh, execute the commands through that key. So see how we can do that. Okay, so before I start, I want you to please do subscribe my YouTube channel and also please press the bell icon to get the new video notification. If you have any query, any suggestion related to the video, so that also you can do comment below the video. So let's start with the video now. I'm just going to start with the information what we have to do to get the access of the remote machines through the Jenkins using key private key so what we have to do let's see so here what we have to do first go to the manage Jenkins inside the manage Jenkins you will get the manage plugins inside the manage plugins what do you have to just search you can just search for the SSH but if I'll search SSH I have already installed that's why it is not showing in available but inside the installed if I'll search SSH so here you can see I have installed that all the plugins which is related to SSH published over SSH SSH agent plugin SSH builder agent and SSH pipeline SSH plugin all these I have already installed so you can install these SSH plugins through the available section if you are if you have not yet installed so go ahead and install so now let me check the access of the server if I am able to take the access of remote server so here I am using the command line so here you can see I am able to take the access of remote so after that what we have to do I have to just copy this file sudo youtube sorry sudo stp youtube.pem where we have to just copy this file where leave Jenkins so it is a Jenkins home directory so I am just copying this file this key file to the Jenkins home directory so I will just go ahead and I'll just copy this file so I have copied now what next we have to do after this you have to just change the ownership sorry ch on sorry ah uh, yeah sudo that we have to use sudo ch on jenkins colon jenkins so i'm just changing the ownership of that particular file which i have just transferred to the varlib jenkins so i have to just change the ownership what next we have to do after that just go ahead into the manage jenkins inside the manage jenkins in, inside the manage jenkins you will find it out this option manage credential inside the manage credential go ahead and add the credential here so after clicking this you will get the option add credentials I will click on add credential here you have to just select the kinds which kind of these option you are going to use so I will use SSH username with private key so here we have what we have to pass just we have to pass the username so I'm just using this username here what we have to put the secret key click here like check this box and no stored value so here I'll go ahead and I add something that what you have to add over here just go ahead and cat this file view the content of your sorry yeah you can view from there also where lib Jenkins YouTube this file content what output it's come that output you have to just paste over here yes that you have to paste over here and just go for this save it so I will just go ahead and I'll save this information so after saving this information you will find it out this options this actually entry over here CentOS and SSH private key if I'll go for the update you will find it out what value you have put it that are coming inside this so now here nothing you have to do just go to the Jenkins again so I will go ahead to the manage Jenkins and inside the manage Jenkins go for the configure system 
inside the configure system you will find this option server group center and ssh remote host so what i have to do i have to just configure this ssh remote host here i will go ahead and i'll put some information what information i have to put over here basically that information host name so i will go ahead and i'll check the host name what was that so this is the host name you have to just provide not this one okay it is mine you have to just put your server host name remote server host name so here i will go ahead i'll use the port on which port it is basically working so that i have given the port number now you have to just select the credential here so here i have an option for uh, two things so whatever credential you will add that credential basically you will get in this drop down so i will go for the centos and after this you can just check the connection so i will go for the check the connection is it working or not so i'm checking so now you can see successful connection now i will just simply go and apply and let us save after doing this what you have to do you have to just go ahead and create a new item so here i will use youtube i'm just using this as a freestyle to show you how these things are working so here in build option you will get the drop down to select this execute cell script on remote host using ssh so after clicking on that you will find it out ssh side that you have configured in back end and after that just give the command what you command do you want to execute so here i will use some of the command ls ltrh these two command i am just going to execute apply and then save let me go ahead to build this after going for the build let me go for the console output so console output no changes why what happened over here what is saying like no changes oh sorry i just select on the changes let me go to the console output here so you can see i have executed two commands on the remote host which has been worked fine df-h i have executed and ls ltrh which is i have executed and below you can see the output of that particular command so here this is the device name as you can see 20 gb of that which is connected to the remote and give the output of that particular server so let me go ahead and check the same over there now make sure here these commands are working for that particular centos user so let me show you that also i'll just take the access over here so here i have taken the access i will use ls ltrh so now you can see these two information over here i am getting this is the video you can just go ahead and do the same steps complete and archive your issues and your task so here you can go ahead to do direct message on the instagram about your doubts and also i will put the link in description about the instagram and my skype id so you can contact me over there hope if you like this video so please give a thumbs up and also if you have not yet subscribed my youtube channel so please do subscribe thank you so much for watching my video